Hello everybody, Bradley here, and welcome back into Anno 1800. I can't express to you how happy I am sitting down to record episode 2. I know you haven't seen episode 1 yet, because it's not on YouTube, but if you're watching episode 2, it must mean you had a good time and you're here. I really do love this game, and I can't believe that I'm getting the opportunity to share it all with you. We're here at the pub, watching our citizens, our farmers, our workers have a few drinks, decompress after a long day, maybe do a little bit of gossiping. They've hired a local band. Here's the marketplace where people are buying and selling all of their goods. It's where people are buying the booze to get all schlocked up in their homes when they're not at the pub. So we're having a good time. In this episode, to try and keep myself organized, I'll try and come up every now and again. What am I doing? Every now and again with a goal for an episode. And these first couple are pretty simple. Once we get to engineers and investors, it's going to take a little while to do anything. Um, but for right now, I want to get to artisans. I want to get to our next tier of population. And I want to get to the new world. So artisans are right here. We can start preparing for our artisan residences, which we'll do shortly. And then once we get to artisans, we'll be able to send our boats on expeditions, which we'll explain when we get there. But getting to this third tier of residents unlocks a whole bunch of new items in the game for us, a new bunch of new places to explore. So we're going to try and focus on that this episode. I won't show you every single time, but just know that passively, I will be selling my soap to Eli whenever the time permits. So that's another 11,000 gold right there. If you ever see me doing that, just know that that's what it is I'm doing. If you're seeing my money jump up or down, it's probably selling items like this. Productivity to soap factories is interesting, but I do want to affects bakery. Grain replaces flour is actually quite interesting. For only 6,000? I'll buy you for 6,000. That's not bad at all. Yeah, that's not bad at all. So this item here in our bakeries, remember how we have to have that flour mill that's an intermediary between the grain and the bakery? This might be for 6,000, a really good deal here. So let's send you back. We have a surplus of workers at the moment. So I'm gonna use that surplus to actually make more soap. So we're gonna come in here. We are gonna make two more rendering works. Do I have enough iron for this? And one more soap maker. I do just barely have enough iron. That way we can sell our extra soap for more money more quickly. I'm interested in just making sure we have a ton of money before we head off to the new world. Our production is now four tons of soap per minute when we're only using one. So every minute we are making three tons of soap to sell to Eli, which is like 900 something gold. So 900 something gold per minute added on to this is 1800. So we're excited about that. While that's happening, I have a few different things going on. I want to, oh, I don't have the wood. I want to settle this big island down here. I'm actually going to bring the wood down with the sea sponge. Um, I want to settle this big island down here. It'll be the last one in this area that I take, but I want to make sure that we're collecting all of the islands that we can. When we settle the new world, we're going to need some influence as well for that. We have 201, so we're going to have enough, but in Crown Falls, is when we're going to have to to really use our influence to settle an island. So I want to make sure that that's all good. If I know anything about artisans, they're going to want their own little area of self-importance over here. So we're going to set up our artisans here. And this is what I'm talking about when I say, you know, being able to place residence is really helpful. Just being able to put them down without having to upgrade just makes it easier to beauty build and set up little areas for just the tier of residence you're looking to set up. Now, what we'll do as we're setting it up is we can actually upgrade one. So we're going to upgrade one of these residents to an artisan residence, which is wonderful. So we've reached the aids of fine craftsmanship, which is great. So we take a look at the artisans. We'll slow it down here. This is the first time a, a, a tier of population is going to change the goods that it needs. So you'll say here it needs sausages and bread and soap and a school, all the things these workers needed but it doesn't need fish or schnapps. And so upgrading to artisans does not mean you need everything that came previous. We now need less fish and less schnapps because we took a worker house that previously did need it. And we've added an artisan house on top of that. You can see all these expeditions popping up as well. We've also finally discovered the pirates. So I'm gonna come in here to diplomacy and immediately see if I can do a ceasefire to the pirates. 22,000 gold for two hours of playtime which is perfect. That's a good deal. We'll have to make sure we have that kind of gold every time that timer runs out because I really don't want to get into a fight, fight with the pirates right now. I don't have any ships with weapons or anything. I also think I'm likely going to have to give in and build an iron working facility. So let's just get that out of the way now. Uh, we have iron over here and coal over here. So this is perfect. This will be its own little facility. So one iron deposit and one coal deposit. Let's get a warehouse down there is going to be enough for is that two iron works 15 15 
30. So yeah, we can get two furnaces, which means we can get two steelworks as well. I'm going to hold off on the weapons for now. I just need steel at the moment. You can see the problem I'm having with steel though and why I wanted to buy it earlier. Uh, each one of these furnaces takes 100 workers and each one of these takes 200 workers. So it's 400, 600 workers to get this all operational plus the mine. So we're going to be running out of workers pretty quick to get these up and running. But we really need to get some steel production going because for what's coming next, we're just going to need a lot of steel. Done and dusted. It is time to settle our final island in the old world here, Gretelwald. As we begin using these islands, we will rename them. But for now, we're just having them to have them so the AI can't get them. If we come in here, we can see the artisans will need a university. They will need a variety theater and a church. A school, a university, a variety theater, and a church. So now we can come. Why oh, is there no warehouse here? Let's get a warehouse going right here. Come on now. Perfect. So we can come here and we can start placing the church and that can be its own little area. And then I can't actually place the variety theater yet, which is a little annoying, but that's okay. Evidently there was a fire that I missed and it really took out a lot of our schnapps distilleries. Never fear though, the repair tool's coming in. We're getting our schnapps back online. We wanna make sure the people are happy. The people are fed, they're doing their thing. Um, so we've put in the school and the church, which is awesome. I can now slowly start connecting these buildings here. And I want this to be a more authentic kind of thing that's happening. So I don't want everything to feel like it's just a copy and paste. These houses around the edges on the margins, they have a little walkway, like they're getting to the theater here. And then these houses here, they can be a little more districty in how they feel. Let's make sure that's correct. Yeah, this feels kind of right to me. Like nothing's quite perfect. Everything is just slightly out of place. It feels like it came up from nothing. So this will be our first set of artisan houses kind of popping in here. Now we only need to get the 750 artisans for now because something special happens at 750 artisans and we'll get a new island we're gonna play with. Um, but let's get these artisans up and running as quickly as possible. Eli has an escort quest for us and our flagship does have guns and it'll be able to take down some early game ships here. So we'll go do the escort quest over there for a little bit of money. So with our 500 farmers, I think I am gonna have to upgrade some of these to workers just to restore our worker population after the steel went in. That's a much more healthy balance, I think. Now, instead of upgrading these folks to artisans here, I'm gonna leave them doing their thing. And I'm actually gonna come in here and upgrade our artisans over here. Now we wanna duplicate our buildings to make sure the artisans aren't missing anything. So a school and a church are important. We have the school, we have the church. How much does a school cost? 20 steel, hey? My goodness. And maybe in that case though, we'll wait a little bit. We'll upgrade a few artisan houses. Just what we can, there's six of them. Just to crank out as much soap as possible, I'm gonna increase the productivity of our soap here. So this is why we're banking all that happiness. We can come in here and change the productivity of our workers. So I'm gonna change the soap productivity, which means I need to change the tallow productivity. So now we're at minus four happiness, which means I also need to change the pig uh, uh, productivity here, but that's a different class. So that's farmers, so they're all good. So now we have more pigs, more tallow and more soap, and that's resulting in, yes, yeah, six soap. So an extra five per minute is huge for us to sell. I can begin the New World Expedition as well. So an expedition is when you send your boat off to discover something or acquire something in this game. The New World is a new region with new islands, new people, new product chains, new things that we are going to need. Um, we will assign one of our, what do I wanna do, the sea sponge? Which one is next to us here? The mackerel is the one I wanna send. It's in the area. So we're gonna assign the mackerel to this expedition. You wanna get your morale as close to 100% as possible. Now. To be fair, I don't think you can really fail this expedition, but we're gonna load up not knowing that. So we're gonna load up with 100 schnapps. It covers our rations, it covers our medicine. We've got navigation covered. In terms of naval power, we only have the 10 cannons we started with, but we'll send them. I can also send the baker for 10 crafting, but I have a sneaking suspicion we will do just fine on this expedition. Ooh, cheese is worth quite a bit. It's got diplomacy, faith, and medicine, so we'll send a little bit of that. And we'll start our expedition. And as you can see, oh my goodness, I wanted to see this. Oh, I might use propaganda for the first time. I don't care about the riot chance, but I do care about the happiness. The riot chance is from the working hours increase. But if we come over here, we can now see. Oh my goodness, look at this. 
our ship, the mackerel, off on our first expedition, everybody. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. As always in the Anno series, there's a lot happening at the same time. I'm trying down here to purchase as much steel as I can. So bring that 43 up here. So let's do that up in Corbisero. But then we also have a resident quest that I want to take care of. A delivery quest? What is the reward? It's hidden. We need 21 tons of wood. Do I even have that? Oh, we do have 21 tons of wood. 20 flowers? Not exactly what I was hoping for. I was hoping for an item, maybe. Items will be the best thing that our residents can do for us. With this newfound steel, though, I am going to bite the bullet on the church. I want to make sure our new artisans are nice and happy. Our expedition is underway. Good stuff. And I'm still I'm still one short of the school. Now, the school is going to be expensive. 2500 with a maintenance cost of 50 But I think it's going to be worth it overall. Even if we have a duplicate setup, I think the artisans having their own area is going to be better for them. Uh oh, there's a large fire happening. Okay, can we keep the candles out of here? What are we doing? Mobilize the fire department. We can't have everything on fire. Our flagship is here. Get out of here, Captain. I don't have any more. I don't have any more expeditions in me right now. We're expeditioned up. We're going to begin our ex escort quest. Now, on our escort, our ship is going to come into some bandits, come into some trouble. Where is that trouble going to show itself? Oh, they're behind us. They're behind us. We'll get to our expedition in a second. Yeah, we need to take out these gunboats before they take out our ship. Yeah, go flagship. Look at that. All right, you fire quick. There, we took out the enemy. We're on our way. Now, our expedition is going to give us some things we need to do, some story moments for us to be a part of. Too good to be true. A delicious-looking banquet with no one around to eat it. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't often read all of these, and I always just pick the thing that gives us the best chance, right? So a plus 2% chance if we choose heed the sailor's warning, so that's what I'll do. I'm a simple man. I don't have time to be overthinking it. They should have had more faith in the old sailor. I'm just going to apologize. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And we discovered a reward. It's five plantains. I mean, that's, you know, for lack of a better word, depressing. I could have done with literally any other reward and been happier. That sucks. That's okay, though. How are our steelworks doing? Oh, yeah, they're producing. They're good. They're going. I guess maybe steelworks would have been the better thing for me to do instead of soap, but that's okay. Ship under attack. Oh, we're under attack again? Oh, get out of here. Yes. Good stuff. Escorting continued. I wonder how much money we're getting for that quest. It better be a lot. In any case, I'm ready to upgrade a few more artisan houses. So we'll get the artisans up at the cliffs ready to go. If we take a look now, we're not making enough cheese. We're also not making enough bread. And we're not making enough beer. So we're going to need a lot of wheat is what we're learning. So if we come here to the bread, I might think about putting the bakeries in and just substituting wheat for flour. It seems like an unnecessary step. Let's get rid of the flour mills for now. Where's our bakery at? Our bakeries are right here. So how many trade unions do we get for free? Yeah, see, this one costs 20 influence. So I don't know if it's worth it exactly, but I'm willing to give it a go here. We'll see. I can always move this trade union later. We're going to affect the bakery, and it's just going to take wheat instead of flour. So we got rid of the flour mills, which saved us some space. So that's good. I need to add another cheesery to the mix, which means I need another dairy farm. So I'll add another cheese dairy. And then at the dairy farm, I'll add a silo. The dairy farm has a silo. It'll be hanging out with the cheesery to make sure we're all good there. With that being all good, though, I can come and I can actually unlock the replacement need for the um, artisans as well. So they need sausages. Oh, can I not replace sausages for them? Oh, dear me. Interesting that I still need to make sausages for them instead. Oh my goodness. So they do need sausages and they won't accept cheese. Oh, yes, they will. What am I talking about? They will accept cheese as an alternative to sausages. I'm just blind. Okay, don't mind me. I'm just an idiot playing a video game. We now have exactly the right amount of wheat, but we haven't even touched on more breweries yet for beer. So we're going to come down to our beer production. We're going to build another malt house. We're going to build two more breweries. It's going to take a lot of money, a lot of workforce. And will mean we need more wheat and more hops. And so we need to find a way to solve this. We're producing quite a bit of dung. So we have some dung to play with here. 
So the wheat farms I find are a little easier than the hot farms to throw down because they're used for more things. And so um, I just find them a little more valuable. So with these hot farms, I'm going to start by chucking down some silos just to see what that does for us. If I come down here and I load up three silos, that's a lot of bricks we're using. If I load up three silos, we'll see what that does. And then for the wheat, I'm just going to build another wheat farm to start. So that's good there. We'll take that. That's another wheat farm going. And I think I'm going to add one more in here and see what that does for us. Because we're also going to need more potato farms. Seems up. All right, we'll get to the Docklands in a minute. Don't worry. Everything's going to pop off here. So we need that wheat going. And then once we see what dung usage we're at. Yeah. So the dung usage is pretty high now. I can still afford one more silo for a wheat farm for dung as well. I believe at some point we can also turn the dung into fertilizer, which is more efficient. Well, let's let that roll for a minute. And now let's see what's happened. So in terms of this, hops haven't kicked off yet, but the dung is fine. The wheat is fine. So let's let the hop silos kick off. And none of them have received their goods yet. So we'll see how we're doing. But I think this should be an equal thing here. I think we should be all good. The production should be fine. Hops are good now. Grain is good now. Everything's good. Intermediary products, everything's fine. We don't need flour anymore. Yeah, flour's not even on the radar. So that was a good item for 6,000, just eliminating a whole production. Um, we still need more bread though. So that's where the wheat's still a bit of a problem. If I come in here to our bakeries, just add another bakery. Is that enough bread? It's enough bread, barely. And now the wheat's a little bit, a little bit strangled. So we'll add another wheat farm. We're gonna be adding wheat farms for a while. Now, later on in the game, Especially when we're at Crown Falls, we are going to be bringing this in with the Docklands. But for now, we actually have to take up the space. But I think it looks cooler to take up the space like that. And that's that. We have a whole bunch of population we can upgrade. And we have an Artisan Quest. Don't what do you mean? I escorted your ship. Okay, well, I don't know why that quest didn't complete. But we'll come in and do a Photography Quest. There's a duel. Where is this duel? Can I partake? One of the churches, probably the church near the artisan. So there's the church. Let's see if we can find the duel. Right, there we go. Oh, that was way better. All right, where's this brawl? There's a painter doing paintings. There's the chaplain doing some kind of prayer. Oh, there's the brawl. Look at him. Can I hop over the gravestones here? Not really, but we're taking a look at the brawl. All right, well, now that we know where it is, we'll come in for the photo. Now, I have no idea if the quality of the photo equals the quality of the item you get, but let's get the best possible. Oh, yeah, him on the ground. Oh, that's a great photo of the duel. Give me a legendary item. I am giddy with gratitude. Well, we got a common item, and it adds attractiveness to our harbor, which is not what we wanted. But hey, you know what? We can't always get what we want. How many artisans do we have now? 750 is the number I'm looking for, but let's head to the New World Expedition first and make sure that's on course to arrive safely. Your crew attempts the crossing of a vicious strait. Well, we got a freaking clipper, my guy. Have you not heard of the clippers and their famous straight navigating abilities? Perfect. We're now able to afford some pretty good items. I want to keep the money, though, but we have 172 soap. So let's load up with 130, and we're going to go sell that to old Eli. I can't believe this didn't count as my quest. Like, I finished the quest. I did the escorting. Ah, oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. How many artisans do we have? That's what we were going to check. So rum unlocks at 500. So we're not even at 500 yet. And terrorist artisans are a whole nother conversation we'll have in the new world and in the Crown Falls area. So that's okay. Um, what do we need for the post office here? Is that worth building? What do I get for that? Local mail doesn't unlock till 500, but undeniably it'll probably give me some good stuff. So let's come in here. We'll do what we've been doing. Let's build, actually build all the artisans. How many artisans was that? We're still at 405, so it's gonna be quite a few more. So let's come in. Oh, look at this, that worked out perfectly. What a cool little neighborhood this is. I'm so happy with this. Everybody look! You see, I don't love being able to just place these buildings, but it's so much easier than moving them later. And it does allow you to create these cute little neighborhoods that I'm excited about. There we go. So that's gonna be our artisan. So we'll upgrade these and then figure out the productions from there. 
to the new world though okay chronicles of anno we're busy we're the song of the sea we're singing out here 27 percent chance give me that every day of the week uh, i don't want to have the sailors flogged so we'll drop the issue discipline aboard this ship is lax okay you know i try and run a tight ship but it doesn't always work all right let's slow it down i don't want our goods to run out because we're undeniably over the limit now but those are going to be our artisans and we are at how many are we at 600 so we need to get to 750. so the first thing i want to take a look at let's get a road in there so you can be happy the first thing i want to take a look at it's just a matter of principle i'm upgrading all these to brick roads is what does the mail do for us so the mail will give us five artisans and seven coins which is a really really big deal that's a lot and the post office a small post office of 50 workers here for the post office a small one is 25 and a small one will get most of our artisans a large one will get all of them though and i feel better about that so what we're gonna do is we are actually going to move four of these artisans Kind of out into a new neighborhood. Which is exciting. They can have their own little artisan neighborhood here. And we're going to put a post office. That post office doesn't get all of them. But alas, that's okay. It gets most of them. We'll get that post office in there, which is great. And that's generating mail. And then in the lifestyle needs, I can open up the mail. And that'll give us some coins and some more artisans. Remember, we're just trying to get to 750 for an unlock. We don't need to hold it there. We're selling loads of soap for tons of money. I can just use the infinite button. 50,000 gold. Now we got some good items coming. 273. Yes, that's what we wanted. Where is our queen? So that's the that's the expedition we're gonna do. I'm gonna re-roll it once here because some of these these purple items are incredible. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, can we stop with the announcements? Provides electricity to brick factories. That's incredible. 83,000. Soap factory production plus 30%. Uh, I will be taking you. That's perfect. So we'll take that. We'll add that to our soap factories, for the plus 30%. Now let's slow everything down. Now, I have a trade union here that's already impacting our soap factories. So that's good. We're just going to add that item in. So that'll be fine. How are we doing on our productions though? Fish are good, schnapps is good, work clothes are good, cheesery is still not good, bread still not good, but everything else is fine. Cause we're gonna go, we're gonna go to save our queen now. So we don't need to do the rest of it yet. So that's good. So cheesery, let's start cheesing again. Let's turn that milk into something cool. I'll just get one cheese dairy cause we're kind of done with this island early on here. We're gonna be moving to Crown Falls in a minute. Now, it's not a decision I took lightly, but I'll explain it when we get there. Uh, I need one more dairy farm. So let's create a new little district here. Just a new little cheeky little. And we'll get a dairy farm. Bread still not going great. So we're going to upgrade two more bakeries. And then wheat be damned. I think we're just going in for the kill here. Let's see if we can generate. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're just going in. We're going in hot. More wheat farms. Wheat farms down. Let's see how that goes. Now, how are we doing? Everything looks better on this screen, which is great. So this is enough to hold our current population. The mail's coming in really handy there. And this is enough to hold it. Everything's enough to hold it? Thank God, okay. So the only thing we need to do, and I, I'm purely doing this for money, and I wanna be clear about that, is I need to drop off the item. So come to the harbor. We're at 3,000 per minute here, which is great. Not too many changes, I hope. Newspaper? Oh my God. Okay, well, there's a fire and a mission foul up. I don't think that's helpful, though, because the mission is still ongoing. Um, I'll get rid of the production. I don't want the production. We're going to have to deal with the minus 10 happiness. Um, I don't want the production to go impacted at all, because that's just going to derail our whole system here. The man is severely ill. Well, we got schnapps and cheese, baby. Two things I'd love if I was sick. Schnapps and cheese again. You know, you got a problem, schnapps and cheese. See, give me credit in the newspaper for that. Where are the paparazzi when I'm saving life with schnapps? So we're gonna increase our soap production, but we got a puzzle quest here for a worker. Find and collect Old Herald. Where is Old Herald? Walking through the streets, carrying a placard. Okay, well, let's find Harold. We found Harold. 
And we got a quarry man. Affects all open pits, cement mines, and bogsite mines. It needs a 100% less workforce. That's a good item. We'll use it later, maybe. I find the blue items to be kind of the first ones that are great, but this baker is incredible. Just replacing grain or flour with grain is great. So this quarryman is not what I want. I might just sell the quarryman or send it on an expedition. What I want to do is I want to add you to our two soap factories. Boom. Does the maintenance cost go down? Yeah, the maintenance cost went down. So now the soap factory is down. So what I need is another tallow maker though, because remember I've already increased the production fully. So one more rendering works. And then up at the old pig farm, I'm always tired. Uh, we have, yeah, they both have silos. So I'm going to need one more pig farm. No worry though. I know just the solution to this problem. It's a new pig farm. Putting it down rather crudely for now, just to get it down. So that'll be good. And then our soap making empire can continue and it'll be wonderful and glorious and amazing. I'll add a few more depots here just to make sure when we are building this, we can actually store it. I want to make sure that we don't have to come back here often, but when we do come back here, we have some soap to sell. So we'll sell that 50 soap to Eli. I'm going to send my flagship down. Um, we're going to do the quest line now that says, where is it? Sail to Sir Ultraball Blake's lighthouse. We're doing the queen vanishes. We need to find the queen, everybody. Well, that's happening though. I can finally introduce you, finally, it's episode two. I can introduce you to a new world. We are in the new world. And when you arrive in the new world, you get a couple of things. You're gonna get some new islands, some new production queues, some new types of workers, um, but you're also gonna get this clipper here and this clipper is gonna be invaluable. If you're playing with the New World Rising DLC, there's an island in the top left here. You can see the mountains kind of peeking out. This island is called Manola, and we're gonna wanna capture Manola right away. It's the biggest island in the New World. It's gonna be our hub, our base for our New World Empire. So we'll let the we'll let the ships go find Manola. You can see here though, the trader, Isabel Sarmento. She has things that she'll sell us. She'll take our heavy weapons, which is really nice to sell to her. We're not making weapons at the moment. Um, but that's quite nice. And she'll also sell us items, some of them for the, you know, new world specific production change. Some of them just for museums or zoos or things that'll happen later in the game. Oh no, the artisans are artisaning. They're painting too much and fires are happening. But hey, good news. Our uh, artisans are on the, our firefighters are on the case here. We're saving them. Sir Archibald Blake asked if you're willing to help him. Oh my goodness, I'd love to. We need to find the queen. Dear friend, what you read in the news is true. Her majesty is gone. My one consolation is that her absence seems by choice, for she left me this parting note. Don't fret, Archie, dear. I'm off south to restore our imperial glory. We'll return when that's done. Please, can I trust you to ensure her safe return? I must remain here to allay the chaos in her absence. Yes, you can trust us. And by trust us, I mean we're going to find you and hunt you down. That's what's happening. Another 19 grand here. Any more cool items that I'd like? 98,000. Um, I'm not into this guy. I really want these purple items. These purple items are genuinely incredible. All right, but they're in the $200,000 range. So we're not going to be able to get them for a while yet because we're about to spend a ton of cash. We're going to send the sea sponge on our adventure though. So let's go to the sunken treasures. Expedition is the one that will unlock the region we're looking for here, which is called Cape Trelawney. So we're gonna send, the sea sponge already has 100% diplomacy, navigation, all of it. So let's come in here, let's add some rations. Um, my fa I like the cheese. We'll add 100 fish though, because that's fine. We'll add a little bit of cheese because that went well last time. Add a little bit of bread. What else do we got? What else can we add to this? We'll add some work clothes and some sails. It's not my best work, but that's okay. We'll start this expedition. And then I'm actually going to put a pause on, all sa on, on our sail makers. I think we have enough sails. We don't need that anymore. We'll get the production back or the population back. I'm going to build two more Royal Clippers. You can see they're starting to cost influence though. And I don't want to spend too much influence right now, but two more Clippers will likely be necessary. Let's head back to the New World. In the New World, we have discovered Manola, which is this island right here. It's big, it's huge. It has this river flowing through it. It has a broken down dam here, which we're gonna discover in a minute here. So we're gonna have to fix that up later. Um, but this is what we're gonna wanna do here. So let's send the boat in with the wood and the steel. And in Manola, I am gonna build my pier kind of tucked in here on the right hand side. And we're gonna use this area here 
for our population. So let's put down... No, that's not what I want. Let's put down the harbor. Where's the harbor? Why can I not put down the harbor? Oh, there it is. We're all good. Unpopulated island. Build a trading post. That is called Manola. Now, I haven't yet come up with a clever name for Malo Manola, but I would like to. We also got another uh, influence bonus for settling islands. I would love to come up with a clever name for Manola. So if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments of this video. What we're going to do very crudely, though, is just start off like we started off in the uh, new world or in the old world. Sorry. And we're going to just start building a little area here. So like the old world, we need a marketplace. That's pretty simple. Once we have that marketplace, we're going to need some citizens. What I want to do first, though, is I actually want to make sure let's take enough that we have one second here. Yeah, leave the bricks. No, I don't want the bricks. I just want to be able to settle two more islands in this area. Oh, but we need to save enough to settle on Cape Trelawney, though. I just don't want to be hoodwinked here. Oh, this is a struggle, isn't it? This is a big struggle. Okay. Well, we'll see what's in the area. For now, though, we are going to settle the Yornalero residences. So Yornaleros are the tier one residents of the new world. So we'll come here. And I'll do different neighborhoods for these folks again a little bit later. But right now, we're just looking for something crude. Something that gets the job done. Something that gets the population kind of buzzing to be here. The first thing I want to do as well is I want to start off with a wood production. We're going to need wood here. Benta has a gift for us. What is it, Benta? What is your gift? A tiger. Uh, there's nothing much I can do with the tiger yet, but that's okay. Now, part of the mods that we've downloaded are these industrial advanced production chains. They work in the new world and in the old world. There's different production chains for each. But in the new world here, this timber one is quite easy. It takes Obrera, or it takes Yornaleros, which we have. But remember, we have this free workforce of all capacities. So we have 100 to work with. And this only takes wood and bricks. And this produces a new piece of wood every five seconds as opposed to every 15. So this is three times as fast. So one of these is three of those. So we're gonna do this. An expedition requires our attention. Oh, we have to find the queen. Where is she? A royal progress. It's no coincidence that the trail of roses left in her majesty's wake has ended in this pretty continental town. Ask a respectable looking local if they've seen a fugitive queen. 28% success chance. Let's do it. They don't take much convincing to tell you that they know, especially when you seem so sympathetic to the challenges of peasant life. Use your knowledge of the royal family to make a guess. Your familiarity with the Teutonic dynasty stands or stands you in good stead. That's okay. Uh, tell him that your only wish is to help the queen. I love helping the queen. Very well, agrees the prince. Oh, hell yeah. Thanks, homie. Provide extra rations and continue. So we're going to build this lumberjack camp. It needs a very, very close warehouse. So we'll build that warehouse. That's perfect. And is it even going to reach? That's not even going to reach. That's crazy. There we go. So the warehouse has to be right next to it. But you can see how much this is producing. And then we'll get this advanced sawmill. We'll put it right there as well. That advanced sawmill requires 10 wood. So that's going to be a problem for us as we took all our wood and sent it on a boat. No worries though, until we have 10 wood, I will just use three ordinary sawmills and we'll get the wood that way. I have no idea how much influence it costs to settle on Crown Falls, so I'm a little bit worried. All right, we found the pirates over here. That's interesting. I literally just wanna make sure we're taking a look at all the islands and picking the best ones for ourselves. Cause the AI is gonna, once you arrive here, the AI also starts arriving here. So I just wanna make sure we've got some good island options. John Laffertoon, also a pirate. Oh, he's got big beddies. My God, that's scary. He's got good defenses. This island here seems promising. 20 oil, pearl fertility, cocoa. What are we missing in Manola? We don't actually have a ton of fertility in Manola. Ship constructed. So plantains. Do we have plantains up here? Yeah, we do. Plantain, sugarcane, cotton, corn, and coffee. Pearls is Pearls and cocoa are the difference there. This one has orchids and tobacco so we're gonna need tobacco oh how much oil this one has 22 oil but there's not a lot of space here 13 oil i think this one's our best bet so far all right you're on the other side of the map but we're gonna settle our second city right here 
Hello, Expedition. Have you found the Queen? A masquerade at Monagasque. Following Prince Ernest's advice, you travel by train along the sparkling Cote, or Cote, turquoise to a grand station in the sophisticated principality of Monagasque. I wonder if they mean Monaco. I'm starting to think that this is all an allegory for real life. Um, we're not going to force our way in. We're going to find a sneaky way. We're sneaky people. You show off the powers of mystery. Well, don't worry, because we're going to mingle with high society. We can blend in. We're smart. Thanks, homie. Appreciate it. Continue. I can't wait for you to see Crown Falls. It's genuinely spectacular. It's one of the coolest things ever. All right, now we've got 60 wood because we're playing on like turbo speed. So that's fine. We'll get those sawmills in, get these three out. Let's check in on our wood production here. We're making 12 wood per minute. So that's a ton of wood. That's great. We can start with our population. Look at that. How beautiful. How beautiful indeed. Let's get a road around the marketplace. And then we can start getting into some of these new production chains. You're not going to recognize them because they're different from the old world. If you've never played Anno before, each region has its own thing going on. Cape Trelawney, where we are trying to go on our current expedition, um, is actually just a different version of the old world. And so you're going to see that in a minute. But every other spot, the Arctic and Besa and here in the new world. War declaration for a payment of 60,000. I'm not going to pay I'm that, sorry. but I also don't want to be at war. So let's see if he has a ceasefire option available. Come on, give it to me. 22,000. All right. So we're kind of at 40,000 every two hours <laughs> to pay for ceasefires. Um, but it's going to be worth it for us because I don't want to, I don't want to deal with their nonsense. That's perfect there. Oh, war is declared on us. You got to, you got to update the presses, man. War has been undeclared for a while here. All right, I want to settle this island. I'm going to wait until we've settled Crown Falls just for the influence aspect of this whole thing. Because once we're in Crown Falls, we're going to be getting influence like a mother. We've got some Yornaleros now, and the first thing they need are fried plantains. And so pretty simple production chain, just like it was in the old world. We got fish oil, we got plantains, and we're making something out of them. So we're going to come here. I'm not going to use the river buildings for fish oil. I think that's a little lame. Oh, this is a weird cut here. That's okay. We'll get a couple of fish oils going. That's fine. Perfect. So we'll build that fish oil factory. Let's just get two of them. We know we're going to need two of them. And in this case, we have a bit to spare as well. So that's fine. And then two fish oil factories will make two fried plantain kitchens. Same with plantains. So if we build our industry area up and over here... That seems right to me. Let's get rid of the trees. I hate getting rid of the trees. It really pisses me off, but we're going to have to do it. We got to make tough decisions. Let's assume we'll need six of these for now. It could be that we need... It could be that we need more, but hey, we'll leave it for now. We need six of those. And then plantains. Where do I want my farms to go? I guess they can kind of tuck up here in the mountain for now. It's not my favorite thing ever, but it'll get the job done. Yeah, I guess that's okay for now. I want—I kind of want the Hacienda to be here later, though. I don't really want to spend the money. You know what? I'm going to spend the money. I'm going to spend the money building a bridge across. We're doing it, everybody. There we go. 1,400 gold. That wasn't that much money. I thought it was going to be worse. All right, we're going to come over here for our fried, pl fried plantains. I don't have enough wood yet. <laughs> Just kidding. I also have the hiccups now, which is a little awkward. The Cape of Trelawney. We're almost there. Continue the pursuit. Go, 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 go. Call out to her. And definitely not. Commandeer a nearby vessel instead. All right. Is this it? Is this where we discover Cape Trelawney? Oh, it sure is. Let's take a watch. I am not here to escape domestic dissatisfaction, but to address it. Our nation has lost its pride, but pride can be restored. This place... Trelawney is the site of my father's great naval victory over our rivals, La Corona. We were the victors here at Trelawney, yet all the spoils remain in the lap of Poseidon. The scepter of Capon has long granted its bearers indisputable authority, but it sank to the depths along with La Corona's fleet. I can still smell father's victory here at Trelawney. It is his greatest legacy. Finding the sunken scepter of Capon, the trophy we never claimed for that victory, 
will remind us of our past glories and restore the people's faith in their monarch. We shall build a new capital of the realm here, perhaps call it Crown Falls, in view of the sparkling cataracts you see the island possesses. This may be my greatest legacy. Help me build it, and find the scepter, and I shall designate you Warden of Trelawney, my official representative in these waters. And there it is, everybody. Crown Falls. the Just the crown jewel of islands in Anno 1800. And it's going to be our hub to build the biggest and best city we possibly can. Look at this. Oh, my goodness, everybody. It's just gorgeous. Now we're here, so we need to come here. And we need to empty out our boat a little bit. The queen gave us materials, but they're in the ocean because our... You know, our boat is full. So let's move a little bit out of the way. Let's drop the bread. Drop the cheese. I'll drop the sails. Drop the fish, maybe. And then we'll pick up the items we need. It should just be more wood and more steel. Yeah, our wood or steel and bricks. So they kind of assumed we brought wood with us. Bold to assume. But we're going to settle here. Look at this big island. It's got four clay deposits, nine iron deposits, nine coal deposits. It's got everything we need. It's got eight oil, all nicely close and spaced together. It's got 16 river, 16, 10 river slots. Incredible stuff. Let's settle. It costs 120 influence and we have 126. So it's a good thing we saved up because here we go, everybody. We are here at Crown Falls. It's going to be our biggest and baddest island in all of Anno 1800. We've also gained the world leader title. Obviously settling an island this big just shoots you right up to the maximum amount of island workforce. If we take a look at our influence, we've hit the top world leader, everything else. We're still kind of working through all the other ones, but everything else here is something we can work on later, but we are already the world leaders. How fun is that? I think the last thing we need to do this episode is sell our kind of stock of soap here and just make sure that that's done. We'll see if there's any items we want to buy, and after that, we will end this episode. I feel like this is just slander. The war was declared for 10 seconds before I deftly negotiated our way out of it. I can't believe it. I can't believe he's printing the fake news. That's okay. I guess it's technically correct. War was declared. It's almost $100,000 worth of soap, so we'll take that. Take a look at these items. Oh, rerolling gets more. It gets 5,000 more expensive every time. So this first one's 5,000. And now we've rolled shipyard construction. I don't really want. I like exporter of goods. I don't mind that. That's interesting to me. 10,000 coins. And this will be the last reroll we can afford here. Yeah, nothing we can afford. Mr. Sewell, the hydrogenist. Yeah, it was kind of just a waste of money overall. With that being said, though, we are going to end the episode in our pleasant settlement of Crown Falls, which is where we are going to start building up our empire in the next video. If you enjoyed this video of Anno 1800, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments or in the Discord or wherever anything you'd like to tell me. I'm not recording these too far ahead of time. I want to make sure I'm taking your input into account when we play Anno 1800. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.